good morning to all of you welcome myself professor b s shinde presenting a lecture on restrictions to nutrient use in organic farming so this is the six the chapter of the principles of organic farming in such chapter include the restrictions to nutrient use in the organic farm so the restrictions there are three types of uh, terms which uh, you have applied or not applied to such amendments in the organic farming system the first which products are permitted into the organic farm is the permitted it is you can apply to such a nutrient as well as to such amendments while the cultivating the organic farm okay that is the such a type of the inputs you have applied for the cultivations of the crops okay that the second term is the restriction restriction it is a partially is a restricted or partially not actually partially but, but a Uh, such a five to a ten or fifteen percent, which have the permissions to apply to such amendments as well as uh, such nutrients uh, used into the organic farm. And third is the prohibition. Third is the prohibition. Actually, it is a completely a restriction. No any type of such amendments which is used into the organic farm. For example, any type of the chemical is completely prohibited. Then also the uh, such a type of uh, the products which is uh, prepared synthetically. Such so products are also or uh, such inputs which are also restricted to the organic farming prohibition. Then we see such a uh, type of the product which is a uh, used. Uh, in uh, the fertilizing or the soil the conditioning in the organic farming system we have seen such a products or inputs which you have applied as well as not applied to the organic farming that is uh, permitted or not permitted that is uh, restricted or uh, prohibited okay the matter produced on an organic uh, farm Which, which type of the matter is being prepared into the organic farm? You know about the fire. That is all this type of the compost. You know, in that area, the crop residues are there, straws, then such a type of the straw or mulches. Okay, not the polythene mulch, but all this type of the mulch which having the ability ability to decompose. So this is type of the mulches you can uh, use. That is which are so permitted into the organic farm. That is all these type of the farm manure, manure, poultry manure, slurry, cow urine, the cow residues, the green manure, the straw, and the other type of the mulches. Such a type of the mulches which are easily decomposed into the farm or the land, which all these things are so permitted in the use of the organic farm. But the second thing. The matter produced outside the organic farm. Which type of the matter is being produced into the farm outside the farm? Like the blood meal, meat meal, bone meal, the feather meal, without the preservation. It is restricted. If such meals which are not preserved, then such amendments or inputs they have to partially use, not actually partially, but ten to fifteen percent. Applications of such materials are permitted. Otherwise, it is restricted. Okay. Then the compost made from any carbon-based vegetables, animal excrement, including the poultry, is restricted. The farmyard manure, slurry, cow urine, then also uh, it is a controlled fermentation or appropriate dilution in such a factory. In such a factory. Such sources are not permitted. Then the fish and the fish products without preservatives, 
ಸಿಗುವಷ್ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಇದು ಭಾನುವಾರ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಹಿಬಿಟೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಮೈನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪಿಟಾ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಹಿಬಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ another inputs are the microbiological preparation the bacterial preparations like the biofertilizers are totally permitted then the biodynamic preparations are permitted plant preparations and the botanical extracts are permitted vermiculite and the seed also permitted for the organic cultivation then another products for the plant based and the disease control such a certain type of the products are allowed for use in the organic agriculture for the control of the pests and diseases in the plant product in the plant products such products should only be used up when absolutely necessary and should be chosen to take in the environmental impact into the consideration many of these products are restricted for the use in the organic production in the sector which actually is restricted means that the conditions and the procedures for the use shall be subjected to the conditions okay the substances from the plant and the animal origin as like the agar agar direct in this neem oil in the preparation so the neem preparations all these products are permitted but the neem oil preparations of the retinol from the very strong in electrica or the law for purpose also the prusia species are restricted then the gelatin is permitted but the propolis is restricted plant based is like the garlic the garlic is permitted then the preparations of the basis of the pyrethrin extracted from the chrysanthemum and the cinerarium polium then the containing the possible as the synergetic pyrethrum cinerarium polium these are restricted then the preparations from 
the Parsia Amara, we come to totally restricted. Then the release of the parasites prevents properly sequestration or restricted. Then the preparations from the Renanian species is restricted. Tobacco tea are prohibited. Then lecithin restricted, casein permitted. Then the seaweed, seaweed a meal in a extract, then the sea salt and its salt or is also restricted. Then extract from the mushroom is permitted, extract from the chlorella permitted, but the fermented crop from aspergillus and natural species like the vinegar are restricted. Then the minerals, the chloride is of the lime are restricted, then the clays permitted, then the copper signs of the environment salts are restricted. Then the minerals powder, stone meal, prohibited. Then diatom paper restricted, light mineral oil, then the permanganate of potash, lime sulfur, then silicate, the clays, and then the vent oil, then sodium the bicarbonate, and the sulfur, like the fungicide, nitrile side for the repairing bacteria, the restricted products, the organic cultivation. Then the micronutrients used for the biological testing control. The viral preparation, like the glands virus, nuclear coronavirus virus, these are permitted. Then the fungal pre preparations are there, trichoderma permitted. Then the bacterial preparations are there, the bacillus are permitted. Then the parasites, the insects are there, fertilizers. The insects are also permitted in the organic part. Then others, as like the soft soaps, as like the potassium soaps are permitted. The viral poly is totally prohibited. Then Homeopathic Ayurvedic preparations are then permitted, herbal and biomic preparations are permitted. Then the physical methods like, like the chromatic traps, and the mechanical traps, sticky traps, and the chromium are totally permitted into the organic part. See, we have to try this type of the crops, which are permitted, prohibited, as well as the restricted crops are here. Okay, this is how this crop is 